This is the Commonwealth Club of California Town Hall program with Governor John Kasich of Ohio. Uh, our next questioner is Kelly Bryan. Hello, Governor. Um, uh, my name is Kelly Bryan. I'm a proud resident of San Francisco. Um, do you believe that some people are born gay? I'm a 62-year-old gay man who came out to both of my parents at 19. And I've been gay for 45, over 40 years. Gay people are human beings and not a lifestyle choice. Please respond without prayer being an answer. I think, well, no, I, I mean, I don't know. I, mean, I think I'll tell you what, I, what religion means to me. Religion's about the do's and not the don'ts. Religion for me is about, you know, loving somebody who doesn't like you, humility, love your neighbor as yourself, treat your spouse better, um, you know, live a life bigger than yourself. And all the, all the don'ts come like down the road. And that comes to everybody as they spend more time thinking about their eternal destiny and they can figure that out. And in terms of me, um, I don't believe in discrimination. I think there is a balance, however, between discrimination and people's religious liberties. But I think we should just try to like take, take a chill pill, relax, and try to get along with one another a little bit better, instead of trying to write some law to solve a problem that doesn't, right, frankly, exist in big enough numbers to justify more lawmaking. So, you know, I mean. Republicans I'm don't believe in marriage equality. It's your platform. Well, is it? Yes. I, I haven't read that thing lately. Um, well, you should know what you're doing. Okay. Well, no, they don't tell me what to do by the platform. The Republican Party is my vehicle and not my master. Okay, I have a right to define the Republican Party, too. Okay? Now, I believe in traditional marriage. I just went to a gay wedding. A buddy of mine just, just got, you know, went, got married. My wife and I went to the wedding. It was great. It was fine. Um, but do you feel, do you but know I'm not going to go for some constitutional people are born memory. gay. I'm not going to get into all the analysis of this or that. I'm, I'm not going to do that. It's not analysis. Are people born gay? Our next question. Uh, you know, sir, probably. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't know how it all works, okay? I mean, look, they, are they? In all probability, they are, okay? Well, you have free regular rights. We're not denying you any rights. I'm not in Ohio. I'm not out to discriminate against you. I think you ought to have as good a life as anybody else. I can't, can, I, can I be more clear than that? In I'm, Kentucky, you're, you're, you're but I'm not in Kentucky. Mississippi. I'm not in favor Our of this. Our next question. No, no, let me finish. Let me finish. I'm not in favor of that. I'm not in favor of discrimination against anybody. But they're using religion. Well, but they, they are not me. Okay, they are not me. I'm telling you my view, okay? I, would, I want to tell you this. I don't agree with gay marriage, but I'm, I went to a gay wedding, okay? I mean, that's what I've done. And I'm not for saying because you happen to be gay that somehow somebody should hold something against you. Now, here's the, here's the question. So somebody has deep religious beliefs. So you go to, and I've talked about this repeatedly, you go to somebody who's a photographer, you want him to come and be the photographer for the gay wedding. The guy who's a photographer or the woman says, yeah, I'd really rather not do that, kind of against my principles. So my feeling is, well, find another photographer. Uh, let me give you another one. So if I'm uh, making cakes and somebody comes in and says, I mean, first of all, I don't think they come in and announce what their, what their, uh, what their feeling is, but say they come in and say, you know, I'm gay, I'd like to have a cake. Sell them a cake. You know, that's kind of, I mean, we got to get, we cannot be pushing each other's buttons. And we need to just, we, we don't want to discriminate anybody, but we also don't want to run over anybody's religious, you know, deeply held religious beliefs either. So I think there's a balance, sir. And here's what I would tell you. If I saw that this was becoming this huge problem, huge problem, then we might have to write a law. But every time somebody writes a law around this subject, guess what happens? Guess what happens? Um, you, you have to rewrite the law, because they never get it right. So let's just like, respect one another a little bit more, tolerate each other's individual beliefs. And um, I'm not going to sign any laws uh, in Ohio uh, that is going to create a discrimination against anybody. 
And do I think that people are, are you know, born gay? Probably. I've never studied the issue. But I don't see any reason to hurt you or discriminate you or make you feel bad or make you feel like a second class citizen. I don't think that's right. Because you know what? Everybody's created in the image of the Lord. And I don't, so one other thing. Sometimes people, people say that they're religious, okay? Just because I say that I'm a Ford Falcon doesn't make me one. <laughs> Don't you understand what that means? Just because I say I'm faithful doesn't mean that I am. Just because I make a statement. And don't put everybody who you think you know, has religion and believes in God, don't put everybody in the same barrel. Because I'm telling you how I feel about things. And um, I woke up today and talked to my minister today and tried to say some prayers today. I, you know what I'm praying for? Lord, let me be a better guy, because I'm a screwball. And secondly, I'll try to do what you want me to do with my life. That's it. That's what my prayer today. So God bless you, OK? Thank you. All right.